Uh, I just wanted to talk to you today about how to um, survive the learning curve, okay? You know, whenever you start anything new, there's always going to be a learning curve because there's going to be things that you just don't know. Um, one of the main things is do not compare yourself to other people. Uh, that is a major, major issue because uh, you, you have to remember that those other people may have been doing this for a long time or something similar or other things that are related to it and it's just like second nature for them. So they just kind of do it without even thinking about it. But you may be starting from the bottom, from the very beginning. So do not compare yourself with other people. Now, if you want to compare yourself with your goals to kind of see where you are at that time in your life, that's that would be a good idea because then you have an assessment of where you are, where you need to go. Sometimes it can be very validating if you see that you've made great progress. Um, the second thing is that you just need to show up, basically. You need to just do something. <clears throat> do what you need to do. Uh, don't you need to plan ahead and, and do what you plan um, if you just sit there and do nothing then nothing gets done uh, another a third one is persistence you need to have persistence you need to stick with it uh, when you start something you have to stick with it because if you don't it it doesn't go anywhere I mean if you do something one day and then the next week you do something and the next month you do something you're not going to learn, you know, you're not going to progress, and you're not going to succeed. Um, so don't expect to be great from the start. Anybody who gets an, a new camera, a 35 millimeter, if, I don't think they're out of, out of mode now, but anyway, if somebody uh, starts talking to you about f-stop or aperture or depth of field or all these different uh, photographic terms, you don't have a clue what they're talking about. So you have to go back and you have to uh, check the manual or ask questions but basically you just go out and start taking pictures and then ask people to critique the pictures or you critique them yourself and say mm, I'd like to have this or that and you go tell some, tell somebody else what you'd like to have and see what their recommendations are so uh, there will be obstacles and they're never fun but if you don't have obstacles you're not making any progress <clears throat> excuse me so it's important to see the obstacles for what they are, stepping stones. You need to get out there and step on those stones and uh, let them take you to your success. Uh, it's, like, it's like a person who leaves on a vacation uh, with his family by car and he gets to the highway and the highway says detour and there's a sign. And he says, oh well, I guess we can't go on our vacation. They go home and they just sit around the house. Instead of seeing the detour, say the sign says turn this way. Okay, we turn that way. Sign says turn this way, turn that way. And just follow the signs and you will get to your vacation, get your destination. But if you just go home, you don't get anywhere. And it's not that hard to follow the directions. So you just need to follow the detour signs in your life. Okay? Now, if you'd like to... Um, see what I'm doing, you can click on the link below. And I sure hope that uh, you enjoyed this and got some value out of it. And remember, stick to it. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.